Austin Bain thought he would be emotional on senior day, seeing his family waiting for him on the infield in what will likely be the last Sunday game he ever plays in Alex Box Stadium. For the first half of the game one forgot it was senior day, LSU's first baseman said. Turns out there was too much work to be done to get all teary-eyed. The real tears would have started if the Tigers lost this game, and this series, to lowly Alabama. LSU coach Paul Manieri made no attempt to coat the importance of Sunday's game in any sugar for his players to digest. All he had for them after Saturday night's walk filled and be at bat filled 6-1 loss to the Crimson Tide was bitter reality as he saw it. Video by Mike Egenheimer, special to The Advocate. Can't see video below? Click here, I told the guys if we didn't win the series with Alabama, our chances for an at-large NCAA bid were very minimal, Nadiri said. You just can't, he figured, probably correctly, that you could lose a home series to a single-digit win team in the cellar of your conference and try to sell that to the NCAA Baseball Selection Committee. LSU could go on the road and sweep Auburn or win the SEC Tournament's automatic NCAA bid, but for this year's team the chances of either of those things happening are not great. Baseball is a sport where failure is the norm, but trying too hard is usually a recipe for even less success. Go to the plate intending to lift a ball over the fence for a home run and you are more likely going to wind up with a weak dribbler to third base. But pressure did not crack the Tigers. Not Sunday. In a fix of mostly their own design, they turned back a surprisingly plucky Alabama team 7-3. Oh, what LSU fan wouldn't give for that score against Alabama come November, to win the series best 2 out of 3? I don't think we've clinched anything, said Maynery, whose team improved to 31-21 overall and clawed above .500 in SEC play at 14-13 with 3 games left. I thought a win today was an absolute must for an at-large bid, Maynery appeared more relieved that celebratory after the game, and with good reason, this week was tough on the coach, he said, a touch of weariness in his voice. Maynery then launched into the grim tale of how on Tuesday his team trainer came into his office to tell him that three of his bright young pitching lights, AJ Labas, Nick Bush and Nick Storrs, were out with arm trouble. Labas was scheduled to start Sunday and after some meds and a couple days rest was almost ready to be cleared. But discomfort in his shoulder returned Saturday during a light workout and that was it. Stores, unfortunately for him and his team, looks like 2018's version of Jake Latz. He's the unicorn that could make a lot of the Tigers' pitching dreams come true, but he cannot stay healthy for anything. Maynery would not say officially, but his tone certainly makes it sound like the freshman could be shelved for whatever bit of the season LSU has left. That left Bush, who unlike Labas did respond well to a couple days downtime. In the nick of time, Nick Bush personified the three words Maynery probably wanted to hear more than anything, a quality start. He went six solid innings, surrendering just two runs and scattering five hits to earn his first win of 2018, one of the biggest victories for any LSU pitcher this year, we owe the season to Bush, Maynery said. That's not overstating it, I knew I had to put everything on the line and let my defense work behind me, Bush said. His defense gave up two errors while Alabama's typically sieve-like defense was error-free, but it was good enough to hold the Crimson Tide to a series-low three runs. Meanwhile, Bain and Daniel Cabrera, he came off the bench as the designated hitter after Maynery sentimentally started Bryce Jordan behind twin brother Bo, got big fly balls up into the May jet stream that annually Alex Fox into a bandbox, home runs that reminded for a moment of the glory that has often been LSU baseball. Will LSU be back here to host a regional in June? Probably not.
but give the Tigers this, they faced an ultimatum game and turned it into a positive statement. One that will go a long way to helping them hold off the tears for the end of the season just a little longer. Follow Scott Rabelais on Twitter, at Rabelaisid.